There wasn't a great deal at stake as Bordeaux and Angers went head-to-head -head at the Matmut Atlantique on Saturday. The two sides comfortably ensconced in mid-table, concerned neither by the battle for Europe above them nor the scrap for relegation below. The Girondins, down, though, looking to snap a run of three consecutive defeats at the hands of Saint-Étienne, Nîmes and Lyon. 14th at the start of the weekend, they're on course for their lowest league finish since back in 2005. Angers four points better off at kick-off, in spite of winning just one of their last nine outings. Stefan Moulin's side still hoping to end the campaign in the top half of the table. Angers made the better start to the game. First chance for Baptiste at Santa Maria on 18 minutes, deflected out for a corner. Paulo Sosa, the Bordeaux boss, has had one win, two draws and three losses in his six games so far. And his side found themselves a goal down five minutes before half-time. Stefan Bauerken getting a third goal in his last five outings. The Cameroon international just snatching between Maxime Punje and Alexandre Lore to turn in Flaviante's cross. Simple stuff at Ferrange. Bauerken getting his 11th goal of the campaign. He's into double figures for the first time in his career, in fact. And so here's a strike. The difference at the interval, 1-0. Bordeaux making a slight tactical switch at the break. And they did come out with better intentions at the start of the second half. Yassine Benrahu was making his first league and start, the 20-year-old youth product. He had a chance on goal in the 56th minute. Punjo with the cross in from the left-hand side. And Ben Rahu testing the Anche goalkeeper, Zachary Boucher. But Anche in there fetching bright yellow kits were back on the attack a few minutes later. Flaviante almost getting on the end of that long ball forward. But good reflexes from Bunhua Costil, the Girondin keeper. Thomas Mangani then trying a lob from distance for Angers. Costil had it covered. Angers coming forward again a few minutes later. Vincent Monceau with the ball in, looking for Bauken. The goal scorer couldn't get on the end of it. Yassine Adli coming on for the last 20 minutes for Bordeaux, the PSG youth product, number 19. Having a decent impact, sending up Ben Rahu for another attempt here, but easy for Boucher. And it just wasn't to be for Bordeaux in the end. He had a final chance late in the day. A ball in from the right from Yusuf Sabali. He was headed out as far as Yaroslav Plazil, blocked by his own man, Bunje, who'd gone down in the area. And so 1-0 the final score. That's a fourth consecutive defeat for Bordeaux in Ligue 1 Conferama. And they have just 38 points, which is their lowest total at this stage of the season since way back in 1995-96.